Homebrew Brewery. Hello Brewtubers and thanks for tuning in again on Homebrew Brewery's channel. This is going to be part 2 of the Honey Triple that I brewed a couple of months ago. In this video I'm going to show you the, that I'm taking a gravity sample. So we will know the end result, how much alcohol is in there. I'm going to show you the bottling process, very quick and simple. And of course, in this video I'm going to taste the actual brew. I bottled this on the 30th of August this year. And now it's the 10th of November 2019 and it's time to taste it. I have to say, I'm not a beer reviewer and I have to be honest, I already tasted uh, a couple of them. They are really nice. First of all, I'm going to show you this, the bottling process and I'll see you back in the brewery. Here we have an overview of the fermenter, the plastic fermenter from Spidal. You can see the big corrosion ring in it. Had a good fermentation. Now I'm sanitizing the spigot with some semi clean solution to make sure it's uh, clean and sanitized. And removing the airlock and taking a gravity sample. Filling a glass measuring cup, but accidents happen. This one fell on the ground in 1000 pieces. As you can see here, big disaster, glass everywhere. So I took my spare gravity reading sample set of uh, Coopers and the uh, specific gravity was 1.008 uh, as you can see I'm tasting the sample and I'm really happy with the result tastes already very good sanitizing the bottles semi clean solution the bottle caps sanitizing I'm going to fill the bottle with a bottle filler sanitized I'm going to uh, attach it to the Spigot. I use two carbonation drops of uh, Coopers. Sometimes I use sugar, mini sugar cubes, but this time I had the Coopers carbonation drops laying around, so I'm going to use that one uh, for this brew. Time to bottle, opening the valve, and easy it is filling the bottles. Cap on it, press it down. One done. And about uh, 80, no, uh, 49 to go. I have to say, I had about uh, 50 bottles. And this is for me the perfect headspace in the bottle. When the priming sugar is already in it. So, hopefully you can see the level of the, of the beer in the bottle. I'm going to store it in a dark cabinet. The temperature in the room was 24 degrees and I did set the bottles away for about three weeks at 24 degrees. All right, you saw me taking a gravity sample and bottling this whole batch. The final gravity of this one was 1.008, I guess, and the uh, starting gravity was 1.074. So it's going to be about 8.4 or 8.5% ABV. This is the final product, guys. I have a clean glass standing by. It's not really a triple glass, but it will uh, do its job for this uh, video. Let's check this out. Do we hear a hiss? Good sign. Let's see. Hopefully I can show it to you. It's not completely clear. It's very carbonated. Here we go. First of all, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a very nice color. 
the color like uh, a triple should be. Hopefully you can see it all on camera. Foam is disappearing very fast. I guess it's the high percentage of the alcohol in it. But there's some foam on it. But it's, it's very carbonated. I don't know if you can show you. Uh, it's carbonated, but there's not much foam on it. It doesn't stick to the glass. But uh, let's dive in. On the nose, very sweet, malty. I smell a triple, a very alcoholic beer. You can smell there's a lot of alcohol in it. But uh, let's take a sip. Cheers to all you guys. Oh well. It's very sweet. Sticky mouth feeling. There's definitely some some taste going on about the honey. It's it's very sweet. Even when it's it's uh, finished fermenting at uh, 1.008, it's still uh, sweet. But this is beer guys, this is really fantastic. I'm very happy with the result. I also shared one with my colleague. He's also a brewer and uh, he liked this beer as well. Foam is disappearing very fast, that's, uh, that's not what I like but there's some lacing going on, hopefully you can see it. So the foam will stick to the glass, but not much. But overall the taste is very good. It's not really bitter, I don't have the spe uh, specs on hand now, but it's full body, malty. Yeah, I told you guys I'm not a beer reviewer. I can't find the, the words to describe this. The beer is now too cold. Uh, it will be about 10 degrees. I took it out the kegerator, which is uh, 7, and it stood about uh, 10 minutes or so on this table. So it uh, needs to be warmed up. And I uh, guess there will be more aroma coming off. Uh, it's cold, but it's a very lovely beer. Oh, there is definitely alcohol in there. It's a warm feeling, and I already can feel it in my uh, in my head already. Uh, it's a sticky mouth feeling. I don't know, it, it, it's the honey in it. The unfermentable parts in it, I don't know, but... I'm going to give you a close-up about the beer glass. Let's check it. You see it? Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. This beer is a success and I have plenty much of bottles left to drink. I will think this batch is going to last for uh, at least one or one and a half year. I am going to save some bottles for uh, next winter 
and maybe another one for the uh, year 2021. Who knows? Thank you all for watching. Speak to you all soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.